Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to turn on debug logging in the Windows Time Service on Windows 10. So if you're looking to disable the log capture feature of this, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the star menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Best match to go back to Registry Editor. You want to right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go select Yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it so if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. So, we're going to create a backup and select the File tab. Select Export. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. So once you've made your backup, if you ever need to import it back in, just with select file and then import and then open it up. So pretty straightforward process. So once we've done that, we're ready to begin and we're going to expand the HK local machine folder. So go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the system folder. Double click on current control set. And there should be a services folder listed under here. Go ahead and double click on that. And look for something that says W32 time. And you want to go ahead and double click on that. Should be a config folder under here. So go ahead and just left click on that one time. If you need to stop and just take note of the file path up at the top of the screen here, you can see each backslash is a different folder we've gone under up to this point. You are more than welcome to. You want to go on the right side and right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. You want to name this file log size exactly as it appears on my screen, so the F in file, the L in log, and the S in size should all be capitalized, no spaces in between any of these. Hit enter on your keyboard, and now you want to double click on it. And now for value data, you want to go ahead and just type in 10 million, or seven zeros following a one, so type in a one, and then type in seven zeros after that. So again, seven zeros should follow that one as it appears on my screen. Select OK. And now you want to right click underneath of that, select new, and then select string value. You want to name this file log name as it appears. Again, F and file, L and log, and then the N and name should all be capitalized. Hit enter. Double click on it. Now I'm going to have a value data in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy that. And please note that the string value for this, it's going to have the C drive as the first letter here. So you're going to just swap out C with a different letter if the Windows is installed on a different drive letter. So if you're unsure what drive Windows is installed on, if you open up File Explorer and you select the local disk on the left side, it should tell you the drive letter right in here in parentheses, so pretty straightforward. And then you would select OK. And then once you are done with that, you want to go ahead and right click underneath of that as well. Select New, and then select String. Name this File Log Entries. And then you want to go double click on that. Now you want to enter in the number 0, followed by a minus sign, and then type 116. Exactly as it appears on my screen. Left click on OK. And once you're done with that, close out of here, and now you should have logging of the Windows time service, and that string value will show you where the output will go. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do a buzz able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.